What's for dinner? Wine. <laughs> Apart from wine. So tonight uh, we had a, a good day on the trail, so, but it was hot and we're a little bit tired, so we are just going to have a one pot wonder of hamburger macaroni, cheesy hamburger macaroni. It's one pot, very easy, simple. Starts with a hot pan. Here we have about three quarters of a pound of ground, lean ground beef that we had previously frozen and vacuum sealed, nice and thin in the package. You can see where I tore it apart there. And this was frozen, right? Yeah. It, it was frozen, and actually, I only took it out this morning, and it's thawed. I put it in the cooler. It was it still just a bit frozen when we got here? I took it out, set it on top of the fridge. Didn't take long to thaw the rest of the way. It was kind of easy. So, then you don't want to leave it out very long. So, we're going to start by browning our ground beef, and when that's nice and golden and brown. We'll come back. So now that our hamburger is nicely brown and the fat has rendered off of it, I'm actually just going to turn our heat down a little bit and I am going to just absorb any extra excess fat that's in there and I do that just by, I just throw a paper towel in there and just let it absorb. Doesn't have to be too fancy. Just soaks up any of that excess fat. So once I've sort of squeezed out the fat, I just take the fat soaked paper towel portion. See, nobody needs that. <laughs> And I'm just going to throw it into my Ziploc bag that I had the hamburger bag in as well. And uh, seal that up and it just helps with the smells. Why is it always about the smells? Bears. Bobcats. Saw a bobcat today for the first time ever. That's a rare sighting. Uh, cougars. Yes. Squirrels. Yes. Critters in general. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To keep the odor down, it helps. It's the big ones, of course, that we're mainly concerned with, but there's still little critters out there, too. So. See, that's what that's for, right there. That's the big critter. Usually, speaking of critters, usually we have bear bangers here. In the United States, believe it or not, we can't bring them in. Oh, we're Canadians. That doesn't sound right. Either. Okay, now you can go. <laughs> So now that our hamburger is browned and ready to go, we are going to add two and a half cups of water. And again, I have my handy little collapsible measuring cups. Rather cute. Anyways, I'm using a half cup. Uh, so I'm going to go five of those. That was two and a half cups. Two and a half cups. See, I graduated from school. There we go. We're going to bring bring the heat back to this pot. And we have a little breeze tonight, so I just have our little wing guard on to help with things there. So, we don't have to delay too much here. We are going to add a box of Kraft Dinner. Mac and cheese. But not the whole box right now. <laughs> we 
we're going to save the cheese pouch for just a little bit. But we are going to add the macaroni. Just like so. Along with about a tablespoon of taco seasoning, which I carry. Let's guesstimate. I mean, if you like it a little spicier, by all means, you could add uh, chili flakes here, hot sauce, whatever you like. We just like a little bit of seasoning in there, not too much salt. There's plenty in the cheese pouch that's to come yet. Anyways, we're going to give that a stir, let it come to a simmer. We're going to cover that. So now that this has been simmering for about eight minutes or so, the macaroni is cooked, but we can, you can see we still have a fair bit of moisture left in the pot, but that's okay because at this time we're going to add our cheese pouch of seasoning, just like so, along with a half a cup of frozen peas, because we need our veggies. I'm going to give that a stir. So. I'm just going to add a little bit of heat back to the pot. Because I'm going to add about a half a cup of grated cheddar cheese that I grated while our noodles were cooking. Sprinkle that in there just like so. Have a bite. Give it a stir. We're going to cover it and just let the peas come up to temperature and the cheddar cheese melt and we have supper. Alright, so that has just had the opportunity to have the peas come up to temperature from frozen and the cheddar cheese that I added to melt and uh, we're good to go. And obviously this is more than the two of us need but it's pretty hard to break apart that box of macaroni like that. So we'll eat what we can and save the rest for maybe lunch another day. How many people would it serve? Three, three, maybe four, depending on the family size, or whether there was children involved or just adults. If it was a group of men, mm, two. <laughs> you and me, three. You and me and two children, four. Well, there it is. One pot wonder. That was easy. Let's eat. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd sure appreciate you doing it now. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.